A couple of weeks ago, history was made in the Minecraft YouTube community. The longtime champion, Dan TDM, was surpassed by Dream. And to the surprise of absolutely no one, many people were disappointed. It had seemed like the golden age of Minecraft YouTube had come to an end, and now all the new Minecraft YouTubers and their fans are coming to ruin the game. You see how overdramatic that sounds? I'm tired of seeing all this slander. I love Minecraft. I've been watching its content creators for as long as I've been watching YouTube. These older creators went crazy. They obviously deserve credit and played a huge role in making Minecraft as popular as it is. And they raised a generation all in one FPS. Your favorite content creator like Goggles is probably inspired by Sky or Dan TDM. These guys were game changers. Now were they perfect? No, not really, but they really didn't need to be. Nostalgia is a dangerous tool. I don't think there's anything wrong with being nostalgic, but sometimes we get so nostalgic that we start beefing with little kids on who watched better internet people growing up. So I'm tired of acting like old Minecraft YouTubers were these untouchable content creators and that new Minecraft YouTubers aren't putting out some heat. Old Minecraft YouTube was not perfect. As kids, we didn't really see many of the issues, but it still changed. And people really don't like change. Like every single time that Taco Bell removes the nacho fries. Taco Bell, you could be gazillionaires by now. So let me give you a deep dive of the old and the new Minecraft content creators and give you what I like to call the holy trinity of complaints from 14 year olds. Repetitive, loud, cringe. These can be some valid complaints, but I hate to say this, old Minecraft YouTubers are nice, but they kind of suck. The content that they created worked for its time, but new Minecraft is just so refined. See, Minecraft in 2014 was on the decline. It was a multitude of reasons. The updates to the game were lackluster, and 2015, 2016 was the rise of commentary channels, and that meant that people got edgy, and Minecraft had to go. But games don't exist in a vacuum. See, Minecraft could not be doing so hot, but if the community is going strong, then it's all good. This is the reason why Zelda fans still exist, despite their last good game being four years ago, and why COD players hate their game. So what did our godly content creators do to save Minecraft? Eh, not much. Many of them just moved to Roblox and then likely Fortnite. Many of them just continued what they've always been doing, and that's not bad, but where's the innovation? And this is kind of why I find it funny that people say that Dream is milking the manhunt. You know, Five Hunters versus Speedrunner rematch finale, grand finale, McDonald's time. And to be fair, 24 manhunts is quite a lot, but that's what the point. The mask is. But honestly, guys, these are rookie numbers. You guys didn't forget about the 700 episodes of Beige Canadian doing Hunger Games? You guys talk about repetition? That's like 177 hours of Hunger Games compared to the measly 14 hours of Manhunt content. Imagine 177 hours of anything. Though, to his credit, we did get that banging Hunger Games song. Bro, you gotta turn around! There's somebody behind you! There's someone behind you! But it's not just making a million episodes of something. It's also just the little things. I was re-watching popular MMOs for nostalgia and I noticed something that in the current year my man is still rocking with 720p. Like come on man, please just go into OBS, change a couple of settings and even if you don't use OBS it won't even be a hassle to set up. You literally record in the same room with people you play with. But besides that, the thumbnails. Now I will- These are iconic. They are distinct and they're good for branding. You see the glow in the eyes and you know it's popular MMOs. But these? These are trash. Like this is garbage. What is this man? I know they pull in views from like babies, but come on! Treat me with some respect, man. What I'm saying is that YouTube is a constantly evolving platform and lots of these creators could not keep up. But it was not just YouTube that was changing. The internet was changing, but Minecraft and its creators weren't. And so it seemed like we were leaving our beloved creators and Minecraft went into limbo. Then in 2019, Minecraft came back with a 
You got the biggest YouTuber on the platform playing it and giving the game attention, but more importantly, you have the newer content creators being creative and refreshing the game. SMP Live made one of the funniest Minecraft servers and set the standard coming forward for a content creator Minecraft server. SMP Live changed the game straight up. In a world of polished and almost commercial Minecraft servers, this server was weird and chaotic, but it was also charming. It made Minecraft a set piece for all the funny things that we, the viewer, were going to see. And let's talk about the best Minecraft tournament, Minecraft Monday. You know I was tuning in every single Monday to watch Technoblade collect his weekly 10 grand, and who could forget all the memes that came out of this, like the time the server got hacked, and this wondrous video. Oh shoot, it's James Charles! Now's my chance! It's fine. Are the people behind us? James Charles is gonna die here, boys! Where are you? I got it! We got you! Junkie Jenker. Though this conversation isn't complete without mentioning the golden boy himself, Dream, who is coming up with fresh, creative, innovative ideas for his vids. This marked the redemption of Minecraft coming forward. And boy, it was loud. Minecraft and the internet are not strangers to loud people. I mean, it's practically coded in our monkey brains that loud equals funny. So yeah, Tommy Innit and all the other British people are loud. But you want to know who else was loud? Sky does Minecraft, Beja Canadian, ASF Jerome. Eardrums were lost watching these guys, but I'd be lying to myself if I didn't say Sky had me dying of laughter when I was a kid. I loved it, man, and it's that same energy that had me dying to Jay Slot Funny Mike when I was 17. In the channel, and then... Okay, but honestly, these complaints are pawns compared to the real Puppet Master. These guys are cringe which honestly is a timeless complaint 2014 through 2017 minecraft cringe 2018 through 2019 not cringe 2020 through 2021 cringe it's almost like a global event at this point but i hear you typing this is impossible my favorite content creator can't be cringe well it's been so long since we've watched them that man it's rough the mic quality is out of a can and some of the jokes just don't hit. Hey, how's it going? I've actually got something for you. This is the bread that you asked me to get and you can now go make me a sandwich. And especially for Beijing Canadian, there is a phrase that he says that strikes fear in the modern era. Baka, 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 but for modern day Minecraft, the complaints truly lie in the Dream SMP. Now the Dream SMP in my mind is the natural progression of SMPs. You get the funny moments of SMP live, but you get a more RP based experience so you can hang out with your homies and create a character. It's a smart premise and people hate it. It's cringe. These grown men are acting these weird scenarios and their fans are eating it up like it's the modern day Shakespeare. But let me give you my controversial opinion on the Dream SMP. I, I don't want, I haven't watched I've seen some pretty cool stuff from it and I think the people in it are really interesting but I'm just too lazy to get into it though in my mind there's no possible reason for me to hate it and it's something from old school Minecraft the sky does Minecraft when squid strike video okay I'm joking as a kid I thought this was like peak cinema and then I watch it now and like it kind of sucks but what I'm really talking about is this Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. I never watched Stampy in his lovely world. I know it's blasphemy, but I was probably being a weird kid. Now, Stampy, for those of you who don't know, did something very similar to the Dream SMP and that he created this whole storyline in his world, and it was honestly amazing. I've heard so many stories of kids watching Stampy and trying to replicate all the cool things he did in his world, like me during the tragic July 25th, 2011 incident. Imagine yourself as a child watching something and fully believing that it's real, without a single drop of doubt in your mind. That 
is crazy. And that's what Stampy did. He was able to capture the hearts and minds of so many viewers and let them go inside Stampy's lovely world to maybe escape their not so lovely world. And that's what the dream SMP is to some kids these days. Now, is it better or worse? I don't know. I used to watch MLG videos and I used to watch Pyrocynical Bully Kids. So honestly, I can't really talk trash. But beyond the actual SMP, have you seen the fan art? The insane animations that are honestly in a league of their own and all those theory videos, mwah. I love how much appreciation that community has for the arts. If I had that when I was 13, I would have been fine dining. I would love to think that I've had a better childhood than some of these kids, but honestly, I think some of these kids got it better. I have no stake in this beef. I could probably make a gazillion Dream Stand Suck videos and probably get more views, you know, in an alternate universe. Dream Stand, more like Dream Stupid. But the thing is, that some of these content creators that I've talked about have made a significant impact on my life. My humor is probably some weird combination of like 20 creators. I love these guys so much and it sucks to see new Minecraft and its fans becoming public enemy number one in the eyes of the internet. Yes, new Minecraft fans are cringe, I'm not gonna lie, but you guys seem to forget about all the weird stuff that we used to do. <laughs> You know, I'm reminded every now and then that we won't always have these creators. Except for Dream, because you know, he's like Jesus. Sky, he's one of my absolute favorites, but he's moved on in life trying to better himself. And maybe I won't be able to see him in his glory days, but man, I'm glad I had him. And I don't want to get super sad, but hearing about Techno's latest diagnosis really sucked. It feels like yesterday that I started watching him, but it's been three years. And with the somewhat recent passing of Bashiverse, I am again reminded that we won't always have these guys. I know he had a troubled life, but it still sucks to see someone go. These guys wanted to entertain us, and they did a great job. I don't have to be a super fan of the content creators that you enjoy, but maybe I can look at the content creators that I enjoy and maybe extend my hand forward. Because this is the time of your life where you're supposed to be having fun, and I don't want to take that away because I'm bitter of dream. So, to the little 13 year old that's watching this video, have a good time, and subscribe to Barry. See ya.